Right then, hey guys, and welcome back to the Valley, the Old Farm map tour. So, it has just been released today, which is the 25th of the 4th, 2023. It, it is released on the same day as patch 1.9, which I will be getting a video out on that as well. So, the Valley of the Old Farm. On the on this farm, stylish, featureless map with 93 fields, crops and meadows, 18 perchable forest plots. You can choose between cereal crops, livestock, cattle, sheep, pigs and forestry. And you can participate in the industrial commercial development of the region. Just to know, just to let you know, I remember the first video that I watched on FS17 was one of Mr. Silly P's videos when he was doing the forestry challenge. Well, it cut down a lot of the forestry element, which that's as like that's a mini shout out for Mr. Silly P and also DJ Goham was another subscriber I watched in FS seventeen. Two shout outs there. You can participate in the industrial I'll probably leave the channel link down below anyway. A newly installed market garden production in the city completes all these sectors with activity with new vegetables, melons and red lettuce. New crop has also been added alfalfa, which I'll look at. The farm needs dynamic new, new ownership to get going and there will be no shortage of work. To help you in this heavy task, you will be able to count on the new farm equipment dealer. You'll have a choice to sell your crops and productions at numerous points. Two cereal crops, one grain mill, one sugar, one chips, one grab, grab, or G-I-P, that's not a word. Or is, I'm assuming it's grape cooperative. One livestock trailer, one BGA, one sawmill, one carpentry, one BM. Biomass heating plant, one limes production plant, one spinning mill, one dairy, one bakery, one restaurant, one pizzeria, one farmer's shop. You can develop a tree farming activity to produce beautiful apples, which you can sell to the bakery, which can produce wonderful apple fritters. Oh, yes. Very nice. If you know how to invest your profits and by negotiating with your banker, you will be able to produce oil, which will be used to produce good chips. To help finance your products, you can go on a hunt for items to collect. If you need water for your crops, you can draw it directly from the stream that runs through the area. The crop schedule is for default. Do you feel that you are up to these challenges? Then get to work and have fun on the new map, the Valley, the Old Farm. So, this map is by the wonderful Black Sheep Modding. And, well... Let's get right into it. So, let me take a no goodbye screenshot of that map. Yeah, I'll leave a link to the map and the modder down below. And those two shouty outies to those two YouTubers that I first watched do this map. So, I'm not bothered about character customization. We'll go for a Massey Ferguson. Sorry about my controller. Patch 1.9 has been out and I've not even loaded up the game today, so let's just do a quick flyover. Yeah, it might stutter a bit. I've not loaded up my game today since Patch 1.9. So, let's jump into a few production menus that's to be on that's to go off and that's to go off now i'm not buffed about all these factors of requirement but the fact is why is it oh it's turned crop destruction on that's okay i'll just quickly save the game just to avoid any glitches happening and well, 
production rise, what do we start off with? Well, no, collectibles. There's 12 collectibles on the map. So, the Eva 50,000 or 100,000. Some new tabs as well on the statistics menu. And that is because there's a storage facility on the map. Stored pallets and stored bales. I'll get right into it. Production menu for the greenhouse that is in town. I'll just quickly just turn all them off. Contracts in each of the fields. Animals. You don't start off with a loan. This is the selling chart, which I'll just go down. You can pause the video, slow down the video, feel free to do whatever you want as we explore the map. Alfalfa, how much is that worth? 216 at best price in February. 286 at best price in February. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on, pallets. You can sell pallets. Okay. Yes, I'll have to have a look into these crops. I'll probably do a tutorial off them. Crop calendar is just the same as standard. Apart from alfalfa is planted up until November and it can be harvested all year round. I'll just switch on grass so that I know the colours of the map. So, I don't think there is any alfalfa in. No. Right, so, we own... We own quite a bit. So, we own this plot up here. Num field number two, which is a canola plot. That's strange that you aren't away from the map. You own a pig pasture, pig sty, and plot ninety field ninety three or plot ninety three. And you own the main farm which is located down here and field fifty two or plot fifty two. And plot sixty two, field sixty two. Plot ninety four is the farmyard, the main farmyard. So that's Alright, because you own the cow barn, sheep, lads, chicken coop, and vehicle workshop is there. Now, what are these productions? Farmer vegetable garden, and that's it. I wonder if that farm you have so she can go into. Pigsty. So there must be a plot up here that you own. Yeah, there is. So I'll probably go around the map and probably. Investigate down here first. I might, so I say, I might go out this way, through this way, through the farm that way, down that road, come to down here, go down here first, and then I'll probably loop up to this place up here, which will then take me up here to do this plot round here. Back down to do down here, around here to the pigsty. Then I'll probably cut up these dirt roads. Or I might go that way, cut up that dirt road. Mm, no, I can't, I'll have to go that way. Cut back out, round to here, to this production area. And then I'll probably go down there. I've tried to figure it out as a plan already off camera, so... But I haven't seen the map like with any of my map tours. I never look at a map. Might seem weird that though. So I'll just put the map on in the corner. So you own this field out here. Which is the wheat field. Yes, ready to harvest. And then you own the farmyard. So the farmyard consists of a gate, which you have to open both sides. And then you own the bale and pallet storage, total capacity 250. 
I had many hours of fun up here. Press to remove the fence. Ah, that's nice. So if you want to get up to your bales, you can just remove a fence. Press to see fence. Is there something there that I missed? Oh, I remember having many hours of fun up here. So yeah, if you want to remove the fence, you can do. And then you can get back down here, and this is to get out. So I have missed out on a few bands and stuff, but we'll get round to them. We've got a storage shed right here. You've got a... This is just to get back down. Ah, yeah, because the yard continues, if I remember, from 17. And 19... I'm unsure about 19. I've never really got to play on the 19th version. Bunker clamps there. That is another shed. A shed there. Tunnels there. This is the vehicle workshop. Yes, it is. And right round to about there. Another shed. Another shed. And the petrol tank. Ah, so the tank is actually inside the shed. So, back round again. Come up here. These are all bunker silos. This is where the cattle are. And you can, or so I have been told... You can manually muck them out, which is also a nice feature. If you, as long as you put straw down, you can manually muck them out. You can get in there. I don't think you can lift these calf pens up. But if you're on PC, then you can have the calf husbandry mod. One day I hope I can have that mod. One day I say. This is the vegetable garden that takes you to these. Which takes water and straw surprisingly. Weird. How do, now where do you buy the cattle from is what my expectations are to weirdness. I'm in the right place, aren't I? Cowbound, risk it. Hmm. I've got my interactive journal markers switched on. You'd think it was here somewhere, but... It's not here. Unless I'm really missing it and being really stupid. Which wouldn't surprise me. Ah, it's there. Ah, that's neat. Slurry barn there, which actually has got some slurry in it. Hang on a minute. I'll have to just buy these cows a minute, because I think that's got slurry in. But that is neat. Cow barn to open. Open that door. And I'll just buy a few milkers for now because that will not be work oh great heavens that's free I'm gonna have to take out a bit of a loan You can learn up to 500. Hang on a minute. Has the loan amount increased?
you can load up to 850 pounds. Has it increased? Or what? No, there's no slurry produced. And the cattle will now take TMR, which is 100%, 80% hay. Mainly you do feed them TMR, but they will take 80% hay, 40% grass, and 50% alfalfa. I am assuming that refers to alfalfa hay. But there again, you alfalfa hay bales. But there again, you might be able to just feed them red alfalfa. So that is the cows. This is some more storage sheds up here. Nothing much. Oh, no, that's a sheep pasture. And you buy them from up here. I'll just buy three for now. And they can... So 100% grass, 100% alfalfa, 80% hay. So maybe alfalfa's better? I don't know. A few more storage sheds here. A few more storage sheds. And that's the farm. Now where on earth the farmhouse is? I have not come across it on my travels. Ah, the, that's nice touch. A little playground area with the washing next to the greenhouses. Oh, that is nice. You can go in the farmhouse still. Oh, yes. You know where I'll be. 50% of my day. That's where you sleep. That's the farmhouse kitchen. You can even... Oh, well, I was just going to say you can even pick up. That is the wardrobe. You can go in this room. You can have a game of chess. Have a donut. I'm assuming there's a light trigger somewhere. Nope. So, I'll look at equipment first. So you start off with medium tractors, John Deere 7810, and a massive Ferguson 3670. Deutsch Far Top Line a Harvester. A Lizard Pickup 1986. A DX Welga Trailer. A Header. Combinable grain header, Pottinger plow 1.2 meters, a 4 meter cultivator, a Amazon seed power hammer, a Amazon seeder 3 meters, whoop, and it can do alfalfa. You start with a loader low loader for the Go Max, a head trailer. And a weight. Pointless item, really, but. So, where's my pickup? It's actually in this garage, which is nice. Can you put the bin out? This will be. Oh no. You can't. Oh. So, I will need it out. That's where the low load is kept. A few more sheds of Starwood. I love the tracks on the yard. Now that is nice. So we will go. Hang on a minute. Those are not my cows. You don't, we don't run down here. Oh, we do. And the cow pasture actually goes under the road. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. So, I will go this way. And I will go down to these cell points down here. There's a few fields around about nothing major there's another storage area down here just a storage shed in fact if you own this field 
you could actually use it to store your machines. Houses here, fifty mile, fifty mile an hour sign, and then I'll just stop south of all these cell points, or in fact north. I'll just annoy the traffic a little. So this is well, there's a cornfield. I think this is the spinnery, bakery and pizzeria which are all production menus so I'll just fly up in the air spinnery the bakery and the pizzeria the pizzeria now is just a sell point the bakery is a standard production tab and you can buy it for 25,000 And 30,000 for the spinner, that doesn't seem right at all. I've got, I'm gonna have to run up. I'm assuming it will be 25,000, unless there's the value if you're gonna sell it. 50,000. Now, if I was wanting to sell this, you can't sell it right. So yeah, bread, you can make bread, cake, which is involved in melon, okay, and bungee and berrican, okay, which involves apples, or the apple trays, which I'll go through in a production video. Now, with the, sh the spinnery, well, I'm not sure actually now. Alright, calm down. Calm yourself. So you've got a storage facility for walls. Well, I'm hoping it's a storage facility. 60,000 wool and cotton in and fabric out have I annoyed the traffic long enough yes I have a placeable area just there on your left hand side moving on up we have got enough for uh, Cell point, or is it the grey mill? I think it's the grey mill. Yep, grey mill. And that is just here. And that does take the usual contents. If I just go into productions, usually, yeah, they are there, so I can just go to there, grey mill. Sorghum, wheat, barley, oats to turn it into flour. Now, I thought I won't do a test to see if you can go through the water because I probably can't and I'll probably lose my truck. See, the traffic hasn't slowed down. Well, it's still slow, it's not as slow as 19, thankfully. And 17, the traffic on this map in 17 and 19 was horrendous. I remember getting stuck in 17. Now this up here is the BGA production. BGA. Line production and the grain elevator. 
No way. Would... That's us. So I've missed the word. Great effort. Hang on, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. It's this side if you're on your right. The BGA, which is just a standard BGA. Another weighing station and a storage shed, which is nice. We have got the grain elevator, which is just a standard cell point, along with the line production, which is also onto this facility at the back. The canola field that you do start off with in New Farmer is here. I don't know if it's canola on all safes, but you do start off with that. And it's growing. So can you put canola in early for it to grow? Because that's not... Okay. That's weird. Unless it's supposed to be ready to half this crop of canola. Hmm. If there's any issues with the map, guys, I'd let let Black Sheep Moddy know on his Facebook page. I will also link it down below. I have not annoyed you, Traffic Alpha. I'll have to go into a bit of first person camera. Um, coming up to another set of productions. So I think I will. Well, not a, try not to annoy the traffic. The traffic of FS. They don't like being annoyed. Until you annoy them, of course. So, up here you've got the... Dairy, which is you've just saw. Sugar mill, gas station, fries factory, Lee Jardins farm shop, restaurant, chess me Fredo, which I'll look at, animal dealer, is all there. Now with that being a fries restaurant, I am going to go and visit it. I'm going to buy it, yes. Sunflower oil and potatoes to produce fries. And then we've got the gas station there, the sugar mill, standard sugar mill, the dairy, I'm going to keep away from there, and I'm going to jump up to there, the cheese mean freddo, another sell point. The gate, which closes at certain times, so I think it's 8 in the morning until 8 at night or something like that. And you can go into the, into here to buy things, which is nice. It's a nice little office. Okay. Have I just been glitched out of my map? Well, I'm frozen in. I cannot move out of my map. So that is probably a glitch. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Can you go into these doors? No. You can't roleplay it. But you can roleplay that you're coming in to buy stuff. And you wait. Oh, you can't get back there. Private entrance only. Oh my god, you can pick up stuff! Yeah, I want to buy these players, please. You can pick up stuff and you can actually launch stuff. Yeet! The cultivator. I wonder where they went. Maybe don't launch stuff if you don't want to lose stuff. That's seriously not a good idea. Oh, some nice bicycles. I won't leave that one unattended, pal. I'd just jump on that and drive off. 
So, now that was me just having a bit of humour with you all guys. This is the large greenhouse which you can talk to the government about buying. Some production areas here, a few sheds, and that's that. This reminds me of the valley of the, no, the old stream farm. The road coming down from the dealership to the farm. Does it to anybody else? Or is it just me? Another placeable area. I had to open that gate. Enough, uh... This is the animal dealer, so I'll just go into it. Nice area. Nice that it's got a Wilson trailer in a standard, static though. You can't move it. As much as you'll try to. You cannot move it. I've tested it. So, which way do I go now? Well, do I A drive over all the fields incoming or B, oh no, maybe B not to drive over. Oh my god. Oh great heavens. So this area down here is the oil mill, the grape processing unit and the a cell point. Same thing as usual. I think the oil mill they changed sunflowers, canola and olives, so they are basically the same. Cell point at the back and the grape factory which is the same as well. Yeah, grape juice and raisins. So then coming down here, we are going to cross the stream. Do not go through the water because you will get stuck. No need to test that because I know the answer to that. Unless you've got a monstrous truck, then maybe you won't. Or a truck that does 100, and mi 100 mile an hour like 82 studios and does not get stuck. Or super strength might also solve that issue. Now, with it being going this way, I'm going to cut off through a dirt track, which should lead me back to the farm. That's just so you're not watching me go around in circles. As much as you probably want to watch me do it, there's not much point because there's, well, there's nothing there. I've not found any of these collectibles to show you what they look like. The Ford 7810 is parked up in beauty just there, awaiting you to harvest the field. So I'm just going to go this way and I'm just going to cut through to the last place which is the pigsty and that is because, well, I want to see what actually is there and then I'll probably come back to the yard and do the chickens and I'll probably just spawn myself back. because I did not see the chickens on my travels before unless they don't, unless they don't appear now right, so take that off so 
So there's a few sheds, few storage facilities. The pig area. The pigs take for food wise, they take base food grade, protein root crops. The same as what they take in any other map, slurry and straw. There's nothing different about the pigs. You can muck them out. You can come in here and muck them out. Which is nice. And a few sheds. Nothing major. You can delete. You can sell the sheds. You can't sell the pigs troughs. And you can't sell these sheds. The only inside of fall is that you don't own any of the slurry in the pit even though it looks like there's some there that's the only saddens thing that saddens me so while I'm in my truck I'm just going to bring it back to the farm now the slot count on farm manager and start from scratch once you've sold all the machines is roughly about half of what it is on New Farmer. If, if I can find the actual farm entrance. Can't get into the farm that way. That's dead end. So you don't get members of the public walling out. Except me, of course. That's the only person you might just see on these roads. Oof. Oh, great heavens. And that's how not to park a truck in FS22. So, these chickens, where are they? Chicken coop, it's here. You can feed them like on the valley of the old stream farm. You can't close the lid unless it's a glitch. And they're just in there, so they're not free ranged all over the yard, thankfully. We'll just have a few big chickens. Oh, so they take grain, corn, 50% corn, and 50% lettuce. So they take the wheat, barley, and sorghum, which is as usual as standard. And then they take 50% corn and 50% lettuce. Now, that is a different type of result. So, if you have enjoyed this map tour of the Valley of the Old Stream Farm by Black Street Modding, please make sure to like, subscribe if you are new. And for many more episodes, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave me a comment to let me know if you would like to see more videos on this map. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.